Good morning guys, down at the uh, farm today and I've uh, got some crows set out, some crow decoys set out quite trying to uh, entice some crows to come down um, although I'm not sure if they like the pattern of the crows I mean I'll give you kind of a shot in a minute but um, they seem to be very hesitant to, to come in um, they're, they're trying to land but I don't know if it's because they're either noticing me or they're, uh, they don't like the pattern of the crows or something like that. Uh, maybe they just feel that the, the crows are not moving because they are stationary crows. Um, but what a pigeon just landed. Yeah, he's just landed up on the roof now. So um, I'm going to give him a go. At least that's something. Um, but we'll just see how the day unfolds and see if I can get some crows in the bag. So we'll see how the day unfolds. decoy as well okay so we can just sort of see there hopefully the uh, the GoPro can pick up those crows because um, it to me it always looks like it's so far away but um, and obviously there's no zoom on these uh, GoPros but um, hopefully the scope cam there is showing you the, uh, the setup of the crows um, I'm not really sure if I have a right good pattern there, but um, but I might change them round in a bit and see how they go. Okay. Pheasant there. Never short of those. Uh, I've just changed the uh, the pattern around with the uh, decoys. I mean, I don't know if that's uh, helping or not, but um, you have to wait and see. Present there, just munching on.
Nice, that crow just came down there. I think the, show, the sh shot was just a little tiny bit low there, but uh, I think. But the uh, follow up shot was enough to put it down. Unexpected magpie there. Close range, it was. Forty one yards. I had a magpie here for a little while actually. I've been waiting for some of them to come in. Uh, but uh, managed to get one on the uh, on camera there. And if anything, it might even bring in some crows or even uh, some jackdaws when they see it. So it could be a good sign, but we'll have to wait and see. Sure, he went down. Got smacked hard enough. There's a magpie there, eighty two yards. Slightly a bit more for the wind, I think.
unbelievable. Like I said, here's another one. not bothered by that dead crow quite happy just to uh, peck around him He's down. I'm only about 43 yards. Just glad he sat still enough. did see him actually go down but uh, it would have been nice if he just dropped like a stone. And about 50 yards. There's a few live decoys here. Pleasant man. shoot these anymore at the moment. Still there. 
Well guys, that's all I have time this morning. Um, another bad little shoot. Uh, a few in the bag there, some pigeons, um, some crows, and a rook. Um, I think there should definitely have been a few more. I just wish I could have just got them to land. Like I said, with the crows decoy set up over there, I don't know if they like the pattern, I don't know if it's because they didn't sort of like... Uh, I did move them around. Um, but again, they just would fly over and um, take a kind of like look in here. So I don't know if they, you know, they're looking at me or whatever. So I might have to work out some better camouflage, um, maybe set back a little bit further or maybe even shoot behind down there somewhere on the floor. But um, I don't know, the crows were a little bit twitchy today, but... Um, but you know, hey ho, that's just the way it goes sometimes. And um, but hopefully we can improve on that bag for next time. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye bye.